Hi, Obad Harustani here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model non-prismatic concrete sections. Let's start a new model. I'm going to use metric and yeah, the code is not important for now. The default, just one story. It's okay. Let's quickly define some columns. So if we go to Define section properties, frame sections. Add new property. Start with the uh, rectangular column. Say C 400 by 400. Add copy. So I'll create a bigger column, say 800 by 800. Okay. Hit OK for now. And let's draw uh, some 400 by 400 columns. If I activate the uh, Extrusion on the 3D view. Now, if you go to define frame section, add new property, and now go to non prismatic and hit OK. Uh, so that's your section right now. It's starting from 400 by 400, it's the same section, so that's prismatic section. Let's call it non prismatic square so and the length type is proportional or you can make it absolute let's start with absolute so say the uh, column height is 3 meters say the first 2.5 meters is a uh, constant on the using the smaller section and the last 0.5 meter is uh, I'm just hitting the C To go from now, we want to go from 400 to 800, and that should be 0.5, and that's absolute. Okay, here you go. So that's your section here. Now the EI variation because it's gonna calculate the moment of inertia here and here and it's gonna interpolate the way all the way from here to there so for the first section it's constant so this should be linear for the second one it's actually expanding on both direction and EI is E is constant but I is BH cube over 12 so B and H are changing so it's actually the more accurate representation would be cubic if I had quadric I would choose that but that's what we have so the uh, cubic is as close as it gets and that's it hit OK OK now select one of these columns and go to assign non prismatic apply you just have to zoom in zoom out for it to uh, refresh Okay, so we can do the circular now. Define section frame, add new property, circular. Okay, 900, C900. Okay, add a copy, C400, 400. Okay, and add new property. Now go to uh, Non prismatic. Okay. Uh, let's use the proportional this time. So, say it's uh, if it's proportional, it's the percentage. So, say 0.75 of the length is constant on the uh, C400 and then C900. No, this one is C900. This is C400. 
and that's 0.25 proportional so that's a percentage of the length and now this is not changing so that should be linear and this again it should be quadric but that's what we have so okay oh, oh. just modify call it non prismatic circular okay if you select that I'm just selecting this uh, screen before I apply so that this extrusion doesn't reset to something else. Non prismatic circular, screen zoom out, that's it. Now let's do the uh, non prismatic beam. So if I go to define section, uh, frame section, add new property. And that's beam, call it beam 300 by 600. So that's 600, that's 300. So that's a smaller section. And I'll copy that and call it B 300 by 1200. So that's 1200 deep, same width. Add new property, uh, non prismatic. So I want to do something similar to what I showed you previously. So it has a here the supports is going to be the big section, and then it reduces to that section constant from here to there, and mirror that just on the other side. So if I go back here, uh, so we said we're going to start with this. The big section or the large section, non prismatic beam. And so the end section would be the 600. And if we want to use the proportional, let's say maybe 20% each end, and then the rest is uh, constant. So now the other section. As uh, kind of constant, so that's 0 0.6, and this is 0 0.2, starting from the uh, 600 and then 1200. You can play with these whatever length you want, you can use absolute if you prefer. So, this is 8 meter, I think this is 8 meters, so you can specify meter six meters another meter or use the uh, proportional now so this is this isn't changing so this should be linear but for these ones so what's actually changing is just the uh, the depth so you've got the ei the amount of inertia around the local three axes it is changing and that's bh cube over 12 so the the change is cubical, so these ones should be cubical around 3, 3. And the other direction isn't really changing, so EI, more of the inertia about the uh, two axes isn't really changing. So, I mean, it's changing, but it's changing linearly. So, I'll keep it like that. Okay. Uh, so now our section is ready, okay, okay. Now just go to this uh, draw beam, non prismatic beam from here to there. Here we go. 